you do. Hey guys, it's Adam from Ama Music Mogul. In today's video, I'm going to teach you a fundamental technique you need to know if you are producing EDM type music. It's basically a ghost trigger track that kind of allows you to have a pumping feeling to your entire track, also known as like the invisible kick side chaining for EDM music. It's basically used in every single EDM production. It gives you that more pumping feeling, movement feeling in your tracks rather than it being so stagnant. And sometimes we get it when we just kind of side chain the kick to our track and it gets a nice pumping effect. But most of the time we don't want our kick in play. We want a silent track that kind of triggers that pumping effect. So with that said, you're gonna know what I mean in a second. Let's get straight to the tutorial. Here is the track that we're gonna be working with. All right, so let's go ahead and create our ghost track. And what I mean by ghost track is that we are going to set the ghost track up so that we actually don't hear what it's playing. We're just gonna use it as a trigger only. So create a new software instrument track. And on the instrument section right here, we're gonna to go to utility and go to Klopfgeist, which is our metronome sound. And we are gonna close this because we don't need it. Uh, next thing we're gonna do in our output, where it's a stereo output, we are gonna change this to a bus. And I usually like to go to the end. Now it's going off my screen here, but I'm going to bus 64. It's pretty much the last bus here in Logic and that's what I'm gonna use. And then on our aux track right here, it created automatically for us. We're gonna to go to our output and hit no output. So we don't actually hear this metronome kind of beeping sound every time it plays. Cause we don't want that. We want it to be a ghost track. And by ghost, we don't want it to be heard. Sort of just is there in the background. So our input is the metronome right here and our output is nothing so we don't hear it. Now we have to go actually draw in MIDI data so it plays something. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw in a MIDI region right here. And I'm going to draw in the typical four on the floor type of hits. So the kick on every beat. So I'm going to change to my brush tool. I'm going to change this to quarter notes so I could brush in my notes easily at quarter notes. Oops. Let me just fix that. I'll fix these two. It doesn't have to be all in a line, but for this tutorial sake, let's do it that way. So as you see, we don't actually hear this playing. And that's the beauty of it all. Next step we're gonna do, we're gonna go back to call this actually our ghost track or our ghost trigger. Okay. We'll leave this on top here so we can always have it if we ever need it. And then we're gonna go over to our lead track right here. And we are going to bring in a compressor And we're gonna leave it on the Platinum Digital. We are going to adjust our ratio to about four to one ratio, somewhere around there. We are going to turn off the auto gain because we don't want that. Our releases, we'll leave it around there. Our attack, we want a quick attack, so around two milliseconds. And our knee, we can leave it as such. Next thing we're gonna do is go to our side chain on top, which should have been our first thing, but I kind of jumped the gun, and change that to bus 64. So this listens to this. So every time this beat plays, so boom, 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 it's gonna to listen to that and it's going to attenuate or kind of lower the volume and get that pumping effect on this track right here. Before we get too excited, let's go ahead and go to our side chain and we're gonna turn on detection to max and to peak and that's pretty much it. So now if I go ahead and play, I'm gonna adjust my threshold until I get sort of a pumping effect or the strength of the pumping that I actually want. So about there sounds pretty good. So if I go ahead and just A, B that. So here it is with the pumping effect off. And here it is with it on. Definitely gives a more lively feel. Now if I just close this, the beauty about creating a ghost track is that you can actually put this as if it's an arrangement in your track. So if I didn't want it to pump, say, for the first four bars and just for the latter part of this loop, 
I can just move the ghost trigger to where I want it to actually pump, and that's when it's going to happen. No automation needed, which is kind of easy because sometimes automation gets crazy. It's easier and more visually appealing just to kind of move where you want that pumping effect to begin. And remember, if you're worried about the compression, it doesn't actually get affected because it's only listening to what's happening on the sidechain. So that's with it off. Once the ghost trigger comes in, it's gonna hit. So that is how you create a ghost trigger track in Logic Pro. Like I said, use this as an arrangement tool. And it's, you're definitely going to see how fast it can kind of be put together in production. It's, it's a lot easier to work like this rather than to automate the pumping effect on and off, especially when you don't actually have a kick and you don't want a kick to be playing at every point of the song just to get that effect. So go ahead, use this. This is a fundamental kind of trick production tip that you need to know if you're producing EDM music. If you have any questions on this, you can ask me in the comments section below. For more good videos, remember to subscribe, thumbs up if you like this video, and I'll see you all in the next video. Later guys, peace.